whoo, world trigger. What can I say? Love the first half. Everybody's giving everybody's praise, meeting all these brand new characters. Every, every Everything's fun. Midori Kawa's doing his thing. They are trying to address the problem of Chika over there not necessarily seeing her life is valuable because of the simple fact of she sees herself as a, as a target anyway. She wants to get captured so that she can go and save her brother or she doesn't value her own life like as much as they do. And of course, Renji, he's worried about that. So he so pretty much he goes and has a talk with his student and says that we train to stay alive. That's pretty much what what um that's pretty much how uh, he puts it. And then it goes from that to talking about a, a very interesting character named Ko, who actually who who join uh who says that he will fight Yuma under two conditions. One that they take a I believe one that it's a match of ten and that it's a it's a um they have to take a fifteen minute break. So what he does is that he fights Yuma for a little bit, goes into his room, which that Yuma was holding the lead on. He won one, Yuma won four, then he took a nap, and then after that he won five straight. Apparently this episode goes off with him having talking about his memory ability of saying that when he sleeps he retains all of the memories or all of the fighting style or say he learns things from experiencing it then going on a break sleeping and then all that memory is just retained in his brain so now he knows every single pattern in which that Yuma will actually do yeah and Yuma says that that's difficult plus side is though well actually plus side man to all this information is though is that that could end up probably becoming a problem for everybody well actually Actually, this is pretty much becoming like the major problem for everything that is going on with that because they have spoken of the of the problem of once once um, Yuma and once Yuma's down, then the team will pretty much falter because then Osamu will go down because they'll take out the well once the, well, once they take down the heart or once they take down the muscle, then they'll take down the brain. Then once they take down the brain, then brain then the energy source is pretty much like easy pickings, or at least that's how they sort of see it. And I really wonder what um, I really wonder what uh, Mikado will do now. There's also another girl out there who's also up on the opposing team who Jin tells to go and check out the fight before it's over. I don't necessarily know if she pretty much got there to see it, but what I will say though is that since she's getting some screen time, she is going to be a fucking beast most likely in the next episode or she's going to be a fucking problem. So that is what I got to say about that. Please tell me what you think about this down in the comment section. Catch you guys on the next John Grave show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.